Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 22nd video in Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial and in this video I'm going to do um, sh uh, adding session host server in existing remote desktop uh, services infrastructure where we have a, uh, a remote desktop session host uh, infra is up and running so if you want to see how, how to set up RDS infra you can go to my last video and you can see how we can uh, set up the uh, remote desktop uh, sessions host servers for the end user or uh, thin client devices so so here is my uh, demo environment which I am going to use in this video so in last video we, we are using four servers in, in this video I am going to add one more server which is Win2K16 as such is 03 in my existing server uh, RDS infrastructure so you can see my servers detail here Win2K16 DC01 which is my active directory server and it's uh, running active directory DNS and DHCP role here is my Active Directory server. You can see Active Directory DNS and DHCP is running on this machine. You can see the computer name and all the rest other details. And on the second server is Win2K16 RDS server, which is my RDS server. If I go here, you can see my RDS server here, which is running a uh, remote desktop services. And if I click on remote desktop services, you can see this server RDS01 is running a connection broker and licensing and the RD web access three roles and we have two session host servers in a, in a uh, production which is Win2K16 uh, SS01 and SS02 and you know, you know, this deployment type which is a session session based deployment so this is the this is the um, uh, uh, deployment which we have created in the last video the collection which we have created and and we have a two session host server SH01 and SH02 both having 32 gig of RAM you can see here its IP address 192.168.231 and 232 and here you can see this is my SH01 server and this is my SH02 server so this is this is the infra which is running in my RDS farm currently and this is a brand new server so what I, ha I have done on this machine this machine I have freshly installed you can see I have just configured the IP address of my um, network range to connect with uh, my domain and now I'm going to put this machine in domain and then we'll promote this server as a session host server so I'm going to do this vector I'm going to join this machine in domain put the password here for the administrator account to join this machine in domain welcome to the victim .com domain so good to go restart this machine now I'm going on my DC now I can see this machine is going to join in my domain. It's rebooting now. So under the computers, I can see SH03 is there. I am going to move this incorrect OU where I have to be this machine. So now you can see RDS, SS0102 and 03. All three is in domain. And I can log into my domain account now going to use RDS admin to log into this machine so now we have a, a SS03 in a domain so what I'm going to do next I'm going to add the server you know my RDS farm server server manager so add server and I'm going to find it SH03 and click add I'm going to start the performance counter to get the alert if any performance issue on SH03 so everything seems fine SH03 is joined in domain we have logged in from a domain account and uh, we are able to add this uh, SH03 in my RDS farm server manager so seems everything good 
now I can go to remote desktop services in a session host deployment you can see we have a uh, multiple option like add a RDS session host server you can see we don't have servers yet because we need to add the server in a farm first so here you can see I can go here and uh, you can go to overview and add RD session host server and if you see here we have SS03 here I'm going to click add click next and this server may be restarted after roles installed so this machine having no uh, RDS role installed so it's going to install a RDS session host server and then it's going to reboot if required yes it will reboot after deploying the session or server role so I'm going to add this and now you can see installation is running it's going to take few minutes here to get the installation done and reboot the machine after that we are able to see the RDS getting installed on this machine so installing now you can see the status is restarting so machine must be restarting here you can see SS03 is getting rebooting so it's configuring the feature now and here you can see status is, is installing so it's rebooted and now I can go and log in I can verify the role is installed or not so same you can verify from here also you can see it's uh, succeeded so we have successfully added this server as a RDS session host or uh, role service in this uh, deployment so now we have a uh, three servers you can see RDS session host and if I go on my collections you can see host hosted server we have three if you go here you can see we have only two session host server here and this um, deployment which we have uh, uh, deployed before so you can go ahead and add RD server here so I'm going to add SSG03 also here so click add so it's going to add so succeeded and now you can see we have a uh, three session host servers 01, 01, 01, 02 and 03 and this group if I refresh this you can see all the three machines having session active session by using RDS admin and if you if you go here you can see remote desktop services is installed on this machine and to verify it you can go here and click on remove features you will see the remote desktop services installed here only a session host server so if I click here you can see remote desktop session host servers that's installed here so so now we have a successfully added this SH03 in our infrastructure uh, RDS infrastructure RDS farm and if now users is going to uh, log into this RDS infrastructure they are going to get this uh, uh, session on this machine also but before making sure we need to do one more th setting which is in DNS so to route the clients to this server also so I'm going to open my uh, DNS management console for my active directory server if you remember I have created this uh, RDS uh, hostname in last video with the IP address targeting to my SS01 and SS02 which is going to redirect my sessions to these two session host servers so I'm going to add my new server also here so RDS the name same name and I'm going to put the IP address of my new session host server which is 233 and add and now if you go here you can see we have a um, entry for host name which is RDS with the third 231 232 and 233 so now if I go and do NS lookup and put the RDS you can see it's getting resolved by all three name names 
uh, RDS uh, the host name is getting resolved by all three IP address so it means when user is going to log into rds.victorinfosol.com they will uh, automatically redirect it to these three servers by using the connection broker which is our RDS server so they will get the session on these uh, any of these three uh, session host servers by default so this is all about how to add a how to add a session host server in existing RDS infra or remote desktop services so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye